All right, welcome back everyone. This is part six of our RPG series. Um, in today's episode, I'm pretty excited. We're going to be working on uh, AI. So we're gonna add a little bit of AI monsters. Um, it's gonna be super simple. We're not gonna add any attacking yet, but we will be adding um, some collision and chasing and things like that. So let's get right into it. The first thing I wanna do is I'm actually going to add a Y sort for our mob. So I'm gonna add a Y sort and I'm gonna do a name of hostile, save. And I'm just gonna close this, close this. I'm going to create a new kinematic body because our monster is supposed to move. I'm going to go into world objects. I'm gonna create a new folder, call it monsters. I'm gonna save it in here and we'll name this one Skelly. Cause I think we do have a skeleton. So let's just add a collision shape to get rid of that error. Let's add a rectangle shape, whatever. Let's now look in what we have. I think we should have no, not character, um, skeleton, here we go. And we can add, let's add, well, this is all for size. Let's add idle for now. And we'll put that there. And we're just gonna drag it up slightly. Awesome, and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to want to make a, I think what we can actually try to do, I'm gonna try this, and if this doesn't work, ignore what I do. So I think I can actually make a sprite sheet out of this. Let's find out. Scene, convert to tile set. I'm gonna dot trez. Let's see what happens if I do that. Ah, no, that won't work. Let's remove that. Um, let's try one more thing. Um, no, this won't work. Okay, never mind. We're gonna ignore that. Um, okay, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to make one tile set, but I think what we can actually do instead, let's use an animated sprite. I think that might be easier. Let's go to animated or sprite frames, make it, and we'll do idle left, and we're just gonna add like three. This is going to be idle right. This is going to be idle down. And then we're also going to have idle up. And then we're going to have to go into this guy, the add frame from straight sheet, if you find it. So it should be a tiny pack. Here we go. And please skeleton and idle. And I am adding down. So we have to add down, zoom in. Let's Make sure we get this right. So it should be six and one. So now we have idle down. Then we can go to idle, what am I adding? Left, we add left, go six and one. Select all of them, go to idle right. Idle right, here we go. We go six, one, select all of them. And go down here, idle up. Go six and one. Enter. Awesome, there we go. Um, and just to test this, uh, first of all, we're gonna delete that. Just to test this, we're gonna play it. It looks a little slow, so what we'll do is we'll actually change the FPS to 10. I'm just gonna copy this into each one. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a good pace. And we're just going to change the collision to fit the player a little bit or the mob, I suppose you can say. Awesome, there we go. Um, now let's make one just for running, just one for now, because um, I don't want to go through that entire thing. Again, uh, for now, we'll add down. Let's do six and one. Awesome, there we go. And we'll name this one uh, walk down. Okay, and we'll make it 10 FPS. Okay, now let's go to here, make the skelly rename it to Skelly. When you make a script, I'm actually going to name this um, monster or um, AI. No, I'll name it Hostile AI. There we go. Hostile AI. That's what I'll name it. And where did I save it actually? I think it should be, yeah, right there. Awesome. And we're just gonna delete all this and we're going to have a few variables. So the first one is going to be variable speed and we'll name this one or we'll have it be like 60. And then we're going to have another one that's going to be is it going to be on ready? 
No, it's going to be somewhere else. Just double check. Yeah, we're going to have it somewhere else. Um, but we are going to have one more variable called C player. And we're going to set this to false. So the default should be that we don't see the player yet. Um, and we'll edit that in a bit. But right now, we'll just have a physics process function that we're going to add. And in this process, what we're going to do is we're going to find the player. So we're going to have to do variable player. And let's go back to our world. If I add the skeleton in here, we can try to find this player by basically one way is to kind of think about, okay, get parent, get parent, get child, get child, whatever. Or you can kind of just go into the script and drag in our player. And there you go. It gives us a direct path to our player. Obviously, this isn't the best way to do it because if you ever change the path of your player, so if you ever move your player up here or something, it'll error. So it'll give you an error, but that's okay. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the direction in which our player is compared to in, re in retrospect from our skeleton to the player. So if our player is over here, right here, this little dot over here in my hand, and our, our skeleton is over here, we want to get the direction that our skeleton is going to go to, right? So to do that, we get our player dot position, and we subtract it from our own position, which we can just do done, just position. You can also do self dot position just in case, but I'm just going to do my minus position, and then we're going to normalize it. So dot normalized. Awesome. Now we should just be able to move and slide with speed times direction. And now if I lay, it starts chasing me. It's really fast, so I'm going to actually make it a little slower. OK, it didn't save right away, but that's OK. Um, and yeah, so as you can see, it's chasing us. Now let's kind of add some animation. Oh no, we can't do that yet because we don't have any conditions. So the the way I do this is I'll say if C player equals true, then we'll start chasing the player, right? So how do we make C player true? Well, we need to add another area that our, our monster can check. So this is where area 2D comes in, into play. So we're going to add an area 2D. We're going to add another collision shape. And this one, I like to make a circle. I'm going to put it around him. And this is the player um, check, I guess. And then we're going to take this guy. We're going to do body entered. And if body dot name equals player, then we can do C player equals true. All right, now I want you to think, why are we checking for the player here? Well, there's two reasons. One, it's always it's just good practice to check for the player. But two, because we now have other objects that exist, right? This is an area 2D. This is a body of its own. So if it was inside of this, it would have automatically set it to true. So this is why we want to check if our only our players in this area and not anything else. Also, if there's other skeletons, then that, that skeleton might chase you. So um, another thing we're going to do is we're going to do body exited. And then we're going to set it to false. So if I run away too far away from that zombie, then we want it to stop chasing us. So now if I play, if I come into, into the, its area and I leave, it'll chase me. Awesome. Um, next thing we can do is we can create an else function here and say get node animated sprite dot play idle down for now. Awesome. And now what we can do is oh, we didn't add an animation for run. That's why. Um, idle down. No. Walk down. So now it should run kind of if I'm in its zone. Awesome. Now, how do we, now the question comes, how do we get it so that, here, let's put this outside to see true. So how do we get it to face the direction of our animation, depending on where we are? Well, we have the direction, right? So what we can do is we can go to our player for reference. Where is it? I'm just going to look it up there. 
Let's actually close all this, go to player and open this, so that way we can have them on the left. So in our player, what do we do? Well, we have the animation tree to set the parameter for us, right? Um, and we can do that for the skeleton. However, it's a bit hard because um, we're using animated sprite and not animation player. So it wouldn't work the best. So instead, what we can do, and this isn't the best practice, but just so we kind of, so you guys learn different ways to animate things, we'll do it this way. So what we can do is we can match um, direction with what direction it is. So for now, we'll do this, um, zero. Um, let's print out the direction to see what it actually gives us, just for practice. So if I go into play, so at the moment, we can see the um, position, right? So which position should we care about when we're trying to look to the left, right? Um, well, ah, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to actually put this back here. I didn't think about that. Sorry. So we only want the direction to be saved when we're chasing. Ah, but now we have this. So, okay, let's do this. So we're going to have direction here. We're going to set the direction and then update the direction only if we're chasing. So play. Okay. So right now it's null because there's nothing. But if I go here. Ooh, interesting. Ah, because I'm setting it every time. Okay, I have to set it outside the function. There we go. <laughs> okay, now we have the direction. We have the last direction that was saved from when we left. Okay, so now what we can do is look for, um, instead of match, actually, we'll do if. Um, if direction dot x is smaller than zero, then we can print left, right? And then if uh, would be elif direction is bigger than x zero, that means we're on the right, right? So what we're doing here is we're just checking which which side was the player last at, right? So right now, now it's printing left. Now if I was here and I leave, it'll now say right. So what we can do is we can do this for every direction. So let's go here. And we have the y, and then we also have y here. And we're going to have under y. And this one should be up. And this one should be down. Oops. Let's double check that I'm not wrong here. Oops. Oh, OK. It's only checking left and right. OK. Ah, I see, because it's checking these two first. OK. Um, let's, what we can do. Okay, for now, we'll actually take these out and we'll only do right and left. So boop, boop. now we can just do idle right and then we can copy this guy and then say idle left. All right, so now if I'm on the left side of it, it's going to chase me and then go to the idle right or left. But on this side, it's going to go to idle right. All right, so there is a, there is a better way to do this, but um, we'll kind of figure it out later. So let's kind of do the same thing for the running. So in here, you can just copy paste it, and then instead of idle, we'll do um, walk left, and we'll do walk right, and then we can go into our animated sprite and actually add a walk right because we don't have that. Oops, we're gonna have to actually add both. Walk right. And we're also going to have to add a walk left. Go to here. Walk. Which one am I adding? I think walk left. Yeah, walk left. Here we go. Go to six and one frames. Add them all in. We're going to change this to 10. Go to walk right. I'm going to change that to 10 right now. Go to walk right. Let's add all this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Awesome. So now we should be able to play. Whoops, what's happening here? Invalid get x. Ah, okay. So we're going to have to actually set it to vector 2 originally. All right, there we go. All right, so now when it's chasing me, it is not playing properly. And I'm not sure why. Let's double check. 
I think it's because it's going to be calling this animation every time. Oh, we have this still. Let's see if that works. Okay, there we go. That's why. That was why. I was trying to play two animations at the same time. So yeah, now it depends on the direction. And now it stays. So this works perfectly for left and right. Um, next time in our next video, we'll quickly work out how to do this for the up and down. And then, yeah, we'll do that next video. And I think that is it for this video. It's a 15 minute video, so it's pretty small. Um, I want you as homework, try to figure out the up and down on your own. My hint is going to be, just keep in mind that we have the direction. Um, what else? Um, I think that's it. Um, also, if you want, if on your own time, you can try to figure out attacking. So the player, there's no, I don't think there is, right? Hold on. Yeah, there's no attacking animation for the skeleton. However, we can try to, we'll do, we'll do attacking from the player because the player has attack animation. So that's okay. Let's go here. Character, yeah, there's an attack animation for the player. So um, try to figure out how would we get the player to attack versus and hit the actual skeleton. Um, so you can try to figure that out on your own. Um, next video, we'll probably add health bars and stuff like that as well. So look forward to that. Um, and I will see you guys next time. If you like the video, subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff.